little boy, that little baby boy was me. I once was a boy, but now I am a man. Tracy Barbie. I love posting crazy things just to get people's reaction. She's one of those! Ah! She's she's a troll. She's a troll. I'm calling her out right now. She's a troll. I even posted I wanted to get raped just to get attention. Hold up! Guys, there, there's something wrong with this lady. A successful boy draws the spotlight. A successful man is a spotlight itself. A boy's self-worth is dependent on the attention he receives. A man's self-worth lies in what he's able to do. This is your host Amanda and today we learn everything about the art of trolling. According to Wikipedia, in internet slang, a troll is a person who starts quarrels or upsets people on the internet to distract and so discard by posting inflammatory and aggressive, extraneous, or off-topic messages in an online community such as a news group, forum, chat room, or a blog with the intent of provoking readers into displaying emotional responses and normalizing tangential discussion, whether for the troll's amusement or a specific gain. You know what, all you have to do is go down here and type something that's insulting to the person, but at the same time, doesn't hurt their feelings too much that they leave. You gotta keep this argument going, which is why it's called trolling, because you keep trolling the person. Also, according to the Urban Dictionary, the most essential part of trolling is convincing your victim that you truly believe in what you are saying, no matter how outrageous. Trolling requires deceiving, as such, your victim must not know that you are trolling, if he does, you are an unsuccessful troll. Signs that your trolling is successful. Your victim screaming in all caps at you. Personal attacks calling you a retard, idiot, etc. Being an internet tough guy. Making a crude remark and quickly logging off before you can retort. Signs that your trolling is unsuccessful. Your victim identifying you as a troll. Identifying yourself as a troll. Your efforts being ignored. Being counter trolled. When one or more of your victims realizing that you are a troll, become trolls, attempting to victimize you. To rephrase a well known commercial, there's an important difference between men and boys between women and girls, respectively. Men want your trust while boys just want your attention, and the same is true about the feminine gender. Social maturity implies a certain level of competency, expressed through the things one is able to do in order to get people to invest resources like time, money and trust, in one's abilities. You may have noticed that all the kids need our attention. It is proof of health and they have a decent excuse, they are children. When they get attention for the right things, like for instance being kind, helpful and doing their homework, the kids feel connected, capable, encouraged and they are set on the right path of social development. But sometimes the positive attention it's not available. The adults fail to notice their good deeds and fail to validate their needs. So the kids feel like they don't matter and try a slightly different approach. He was such an accomplished showman, it makes it nearly impossible to tell reality from fiction. On one hand, it's sad to see Manson's sometimes incoherent behavior on stage. But on another hand, Manson has always been skillful 
at knowing what people want. After all, he has a background in music journalism. He's far more qualified than most to understand what will generate headlines. Therefore, kids are discouraged. They abandon their growing efforts and, in order to get some crumbs of attention, they take on the most embarrassing, unpleasant and even desperate roles. They are so vulnerable to the received attention factor that they are willing to do anything to get that attention. As a child, you can make a lot of efforts to get positive attention, never actually getting any, and this is a terrible business for a child. Instead, you can get a lot of attention in acting a cheap, useless intrigue with a minimum amount of work. And this, at least on the short run, looks like an excellent investment. When a child learns to trade bad behavior for attention, the big problem is what we could call the social capital or the reputation. A troll comes to find out that people may grant their attention but none of their trust, because trolls are able to steal the show but never people's hearts, unless they pursue a career in entertainment and develop discipline and work ethic. Psychologically, Trolls can be defined either as people who try to get attention for the bad reasons or simpler than that, people who live for attention, in general. If attention is what motivates and concerns us, then we can always resort to anything that works indiscriminately, and this, unless we are five years old, makes us legitimate trolls. Security, get him out of here. But not before singing his own theme song, Moonwalking Across the Stage. For a genuine troll, the distance between positive attention acquired for good reasons and negative attention, acquired for the bad ones, doesn't even exist. As we try to prove here, trolls are experts in getting people's attention and are able to use all kinds of means for their purpose, from the simplest, like overstimulation of senses loud noises, unusual clothes, weird makeup, etc to the more complex ones, like spreading rumors or creating intrigue and mystery. We hope this video presentation has been an opportunity to learn and ask yourselves how much of your behavior is motivated by attention and what else you could strive for. See you in the next one, until then, don't forget to be the best version of yourselves. Romina Garcia, a teen who quickly went viral online for posting a video of herself defending abuse. If your boyfriend hits you or beats you up, stay with him. He loves you. Her reasoning? That it's a sign of true love if the abuser is willingly putting themselves at risk of being arrested for harming another person. That is some crazy backwards thinking. 